well, there's a new breed of cattle in town, and they look like they've been working out. Our Lisa Hines explains. Down here, all the muscle, the, the definition on their, on their rump. Looking like a cow on steroids, Belgian blue cattle are certainly stranger than most. She'd come way out here like this. Well, when you look at the animal from a, um, uh, from a purebred or even a half-blood and a non-Belgian blue, you'll see the, the wide shoulders, you'll see the big rump, you'll see the, the double muscle on the back of the rump, you'll see when they walk away, they look like a rhinoceros. Uh, along their ribs, they look like they're fat and overweight, but it's just a double muscling of their ribs. They were bred over 150 years ago by farmers in Belgium to produce more meat on a small amount of land, but have gradually made their way into the United States. And for the Oklahoma rancher, this breed could be a good return on investment. Again, you get to the part where you get more animal or more beef per acre uh, coming from an animal. The calves will wean out a lot higher in uh, body weight. Um, you get something that's a little more docile. Now for the health conscious consumer who likes the taste of beef, the Belgian Blue just may be the menu item they've been looking for. Well, Belgian Blues are supposed to be double muscle and low fat, and their meat is a lot lower in cholesterol, <coughs> excuse me, cholesterol than other breeds and even some uh, poultry. For the consumer who's worried about uh, longer life, healthier life, the double muscle doesn't apply to them, but the low fat and the low cholesterol is something that really is of vital importance to our society nowadays. So uh, I would say just for the health conscious uh, consumer, the Belgian Blue is something that people may want to have uh, on their table or even talk about to bring on the table. A double impact that's helping the Belgian Blue muscle up Oklahoma's beef industry.